Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY with Dewey. So today we're having more issues with our oven. Um, the, the employees here at the shop said that the screen was showing an alarm and it said alarm one and then 1000 blinking. So I'll show you what was happening. They sent me a little message with the screen, but I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out this thermostat we're going to open it up right now and troubleshoot it, see if there's any loose wires, and then we'll replace the thermostat with a new replacement. Okay. So here's the new replacement we have. Um, same exact part number that's in there right now. And we always have an extra just in case, because we, we can't have downtime here. Um, anytime something breaks, we need to get it up and running fast. So we always have a spare, so now I'm using this, I'm going to order another one. So then we have a new one on the way. Alright, so the wiring is all disconnected and we're going to go ahead and lift up this cover. So make sure you take pictures of all the wiring, exactly how it is. Top temperatures on this side. So I'm just using a flathead screwdriver. Alright, blue on the bottom. So blue on the bottom, red on top. So that one's bottom. So I'm just gonna pull this one out. That's it. And then we'll leave this one on and then we'll slide this through. Right. I'm gonna put it in the new one. So I'm grabbing the new thermostat. So our old one had a little gasket, like an O-ring rubber gasket. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over to this new one. So it's like it's sort of facing the same direction. And then this clip goes back on. So this one went on top right here. And you want to just make sure you replace it exactly the same place you took it out. So this one goes right here. 
And then we have this jumper right here that goes from that one to this one. So we'll pull this jumper out. I didn't realize in the box that they actually did have a rubber o-ring but we're gonna go ahead and reuse the old one this one is rubber the old one is foam and I'm just gonna stick with the original one that came with oven there's also two screws that are in here and we're not gonna use those screws Here's our jumper wire. So we're gonna put this on the bottom, right here, like that. And then the jumper wire will be right above. Right there, right there, like that. Ten new screws. Make sure everything is nice and organized. This one will go all the way in the bottom. So this one goes right here. And all we have left is the thermostat, or the, the temperature sensor. So red on top, blue on the bottom. Now, with all the empty slots, make sure it's tightened. You don't want it to get loose. Right, I'm going back and just double checking all the connections. All right, we're good. All right, let's go ahead and put this cover back on. These are just little flatheads. Now go to the circuit breaker and turn the breaker back on. We have power now, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Both of them. And then move the temperature 
up to where we want it. So we're gonna press and hold, and we're gonna go up to 375. That's a faster way to do this. I'm not moving the decimal point and going up, but I'll just, I don't want to get the, the pamphlet out or the instructions out to, to move it. Okay, so we're going So now it's set to 375, it should reach. There, so it just clicked on. And now the coils should be getting hot. <laughs> 